speculation season is now over, and we are moving on to announcement season. They love it when I turn off the bass. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and today we got our very first official Halloween Horror Nights announcement. And this one is no surprise because it got leaked last week accidentally on their website. I'm telling you, you missed out. I'll come out next time, but I'll see you later on tonight. Just text me. Bye. Monsters, legends collide only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. And that is Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Now, this is going to be the fourth installment of the Universal Monsters story. The first, however, of the four to not include Frankenstein's monster. And to be honest, I even though he's my personal favorite, I am not too mad about that. Uh, he's been in all three uh, Universal Monster mazes thus far, starting off with Universal Monsters, then going on to Universal Monsters Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, and then the last time we saw him, the Bride of Frankenstein lives. Now we're going into a new chapter, Universal Monsters Legends Collide, featuring Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman. Now, for one, I am pretty excited for this one after reading the synopsis of the maze. I'm very excited to see what we're going to see and if it's going to be anything like how Universal Horror Nights Icons was over at Orlando's event last year. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Orlando's Icons maze of last year, basically what you did is you went through each icon uh, throughout the maze, and then at the end... There was always one icon sitting on the throne. And every so often, if you went through a lot, majority of nights, you would see someone different on the throne. I actually talked to a guy who went through so many times since opening night that he only needed one icon left. And I believe it was Chance. So I'm excited to see what they do with Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Now, the synopsis goes as follows. There is an amulet that Dracula... Wolfman and the mummy are all trying to get this amulet can break the curse of the Wolfman, which he believes hopefully can break his curse while the other two want to use it to ruin mankind for good. Now it's going to be an interesting race. You're going to see a good fight leading up to the end finale of who won the amulet and who won the throne overall. But the fun part is you're going to be stuck right in the middle of this battle for this amulet and they are going to stop at nothing to get it. I'm very excited to see what they do. Um, and on the Hollywood side, Slash will be scoring the maze yet again for the fourth year in a row for Universal Monsters, fifth year overall. So I'm very excited to see what his sound is for this maze this year. Uh, he's done fantastic scores thus far, and I'm still waiting to get the Frankenstein meets the Wolfman and the Bride of Frankenstein Lives score on Spotify. Um, Murdy slash what we doing, man. I want I want it. I want to listen to it while I'm at work. I want to spread the love of Halloween Horror Nights year round. But with all that being said, I'm very excited for this first announcement. It's 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 a big one, and and it's going to be on both coasts. We found that out for sure. It's going to be both in Orlando and Hollywood this year. Orlando doing their own original thing. We're doing our thing, and overall, we uh we have Slash on our side. So sorry, Orlando. Maybe one year. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, the fourth installment of the Universal Monsters is coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year for the 2022 season. 
They also announced that there's going to be a total of eight houses. Now, a lot of people were making a big deal about the house maze thing um, because this is the first time Universal Studios Hollywood has ever called mazes houses. Houses is a more common term used out in Orlando. Uh, it's funny when I talk to a lot of my friends, they just sometimes don't even know what I'm talking about. But we call them mazes out here. They call them houses out there. Um, I, regardless, it's it's to me, it, you're, you're still walking through something. So it's, it's, it's the same. But there's probably a heated debate out there about it. However, this is interesting. I don't know if this was just to be neutral to both coasts, if they're doing the transition from maze to house. Um, who knows? We'll all be on the same page if that's the, if that's the truth, honestly. Um, but eight mazes total, um, a tear tram, and much more to be announced soon. We got one maze down, seven more to go. Uh, so far, um, HN Nightmare Speculation Map was half correct on this maze. Um, may, no, you know what? I'll give him a full like 80% correct because he's got two icons in there and, and the universal monsters. Um, little did we know it was going to be a three way battle and us stuck in the middle of it with legends collide. So I'm excited to see, uh, what else HN nightmares gets right. We just talked about this on East versus West today. If you guys want to go over to the boo bros channel and check out a new episode of East versus West featuring me and Eddie, we actually filmed that video, um, a little bit before, the announcement dropped uh, the day before, should I say? Um, so we didn't know they were going to announce it, but we do talk about Legends Collide in there as well. So go check that out on the Blue Bros channel out right now. Um, but I'm very excited for this. What are your guys' thoughts on this year's first announcement with Universal Monsters Legends Collide? Leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, but. Yeah, guys, we are getting closer and closer to Monster Palooza, which is going to be the first weekend of June. We will be there that Saturday. Come check, uh, come find us, come say hi, um, hang out. We'll be there. And then Midsummer Scream, we are very much looking forward to Midsummer Scream. We're going to be there all weekend shooting various uh, forms of content and, and whatnot. Um, and then Haunt Season rolls around. But as these announcements come out, whether it be Not Scary Farm, Hayride, um, Halloween Horror Nights, whatever it is in the SoCal area, this is your one-stop place to hear all haunt-related news in SoCal. So come over, come uh, subscribe. Hit that bell notification be where every time we put up a new video, give this video a like. Follow us on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter. I'm Anthony, your host, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>